Hi everyone, how are you? Welcome to another question and answer session for MRCS exam. Here, this is the picture related to the question. So, first of all, let's see the question and then answer. Here, it is one of the big and large questions. So, first of all, read carefully of the question, then try to pick up the key point from the question. So, let's read the question a 55 years old man is admitted with brisk hematemesis that means the blood vomiting he is taken to the endoscopy department and an upper git endoscopy is performed the by the gastroenterologist he identifies an ulcer on the posterior duodenal wall and spends an eternity trying to control the bleeding with wall at the latest hemostatic technique he eventually asked the surgeon for help. A laparotomy and anterior duodenotomy are performed. As the surgeon opens the duodenum, a vessel is spurting blood into the duodenal wall. From which of the following does the vessel arise? So it is one of the big questions. So now we have to find out the key points from the question. So first of all, we can see the ulcer on the posterior duodenal wall. So there is a duodenal ulcer which is located in the posterior wall of the duodenum. Then we can see anterior duodenectomy. Duodenectomy was done, and surgeon found a vessel is putting blood into the duodenal lumen. That means the anterior wall is cut, so the blood is from the posterior wall. So we have to find out a vessel which lies in the posterior wall and the origin of these vessels. Here are the options. Options are left gastric artery, common hepatic artery, right hepatic artery superior mesenteric artery and splenic artery so let's say first of all the posterior wall of the duodenum that means the first part of the posterior wall of the duodenum then we have to find out the blood vessel which is running behind the posterior wall of the duodenum and uh, the blood vessel arising from which of the vessel so here you can see this is the first part of the duodenum and at this place they are typically ulcer occurs and we can see a vessel which is running just behind this first part of the duodenum and the name of the artery is the gastro duodenal artery so the bleeding within the duodenal lumen is caused by the ulceration in the first part of the duodenum and that causes erosion of this artery and this artery is the gastro duodenal artery and if we go back we can see the gastro duodenal artery arising from this artery and this artery is the common hepatic artery so gastro duodenal artery it runs behind the first part of the duodenum and it's arising from the common hepatic artery and the common hepatic artery it is branched from the here we can see this is the abdominal outer so from first of all celiac trunk so first of all abdominal outer then celiac trunk then common hepatic artery then gastro duodenal artery so gastro duodenal artery is branched from the common hepatic artery common hepatic artery is branched from the celiac trunk and celiac trunk it arising from the abdominal aorta and this picture here we also can the anterior wall is removed then we can see the bleeding occurs into the duodenal lumen and it arising from this vessel this vessel is the gastro duodenal artery and the gastro duodenal artery it arises from this artery and this is the common hepatic artery so it is now clear that the common hepatic artery common hepatic artery it gives branch the gastro duodenal artery and this gastro duodenal artery it passes through the posterior duodenal wall so due to the ulcer of the posterior abdominal wall uh, ulcer of the first part of the posterior wall of the duodenum uh, it causes erosion of the gastro duodenal artery gastro duodenal artery and this gastro duodenal artery it arises from the common hepatic artery so our answer is the common hepatic artery thank you all